And those high temperatures topped out in the mid-80s, just a little on the warm side for us here across the valley. The temperatures at 85 in Harlingen, topping at 85 in McAllen. So definitely still seeing those warm above average temperatures. But right now in McAllen, 81 right now, just a little bit of cloud cover. Winds out of the east at 5 miles an hour. Of course, in Brownsville, still a little bit on the cooler side, 79, mostly sunny conditions. Winds out of the east-northeast at 9 miles an hour. As we look at the current situation across the state of Texas, we do have a cold front that's moving through the panhandle. You're seeing that uh, temperatures in the low 50s in Amarillo, in the 70s for the most part across the entire state. Of course, those winds out of the east are along the coast, but mostly calm across the state of Texas, looking rather quiet as that front is slowly moving through the state. Unfortunately, it will be stalling just north of the valley for tonight. But as we look at that future clouds and radar, expecting to see this front move towards the south, a relatively calm and quiet weather pattern expected for the first half of the week. But uh, we're going to have a series of cold fronts on the way throughout the next uh, several days. That's going to keep those conditions a little on the cooler side. Of course, we're going to remain in the 80s here in the valley. Other locations probably getting into the 50s and uh, probably the 60s there as we head into Thursday and Friday. Weather models are hinting around at another strong cold front, another weather system that's going to be moving through the south central U.S. that could bring a stormy next weekend, so especially if you're heading home from Thanksgiving. But those current temperatures, as we look at those future temperatures for the next uh, 24 hours, topping out in the 80s for Sunday around 2 p.m. and then going into Monday as that front moves through. We're going to see just cooler conditions from central Texas all the way up to north Texas. Unfortunately, we're remaining in the mid-80s. Those high, uh, those mostly sunny conditions expected for uh, us here across the valley there. For the next five hours for us here, expecting to see those temperatures uh, drop down into the 60s, mostly clear skies. However, as we get after the midnight hour, we're going to continue to have the potential for that patchy fog to start moving into the area as we go into tomorrow morning. Very quiet in the tropics. We are still in hurricane season, not seeing any activity so far. But of course, for our Thanksgiving forecast for us here in the valley, expecting those highs to get up into the 80s on Thursday, evening dropping down into the 70s, mostly sunny, rather warm for us here across South Texas on Thanksgiving Day. But for tonight, overnight lows dropping into about 60 degrees, that isolated patchy fog being a concern if you are heading in the late hours or early morning hours. Tomorrow will be topping out in the upper 80s, 86 for the upper valley, 85 for the lower valley, winds out of the east northeast at 6 to 11 miles an hour, a little on the cooler side on South Padre Island. We're going to see temperatures in the 70s, that surf at 75 degrees, winds out of the northeast at 7 to 13 miles an hour. And just a reminder, there is a high rip current risk for all areas along the coast there for us here across South Texas. For your seven-day forecast, expect those high temperatures to remain in the 80s for much of this week. Partly cloudy conditions for Sunday and Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, mostly sunny. Thursday looking rather calm and rather warm for Thanksgiving Day, those overnight lows in the 60s. And we're also tracking that potential weather system that could bring some storms for next Saturday and Sunday across the state of Texas, and that includes us here in the Valley. We'll be right back.